Alright guys, welcome back for a quick review. I'm going to be reviewing the Sparco Hyper Grip Series gloves today. Um, overall, pretty good glove, but uh, I've been using them for about six months. I'll let you guys know what I think about these, considering I have used them for a decent period of time. So first of all, these are different than your typical racing gloves. Um, they're not full length, they're not fireproof, they're a little bit more comfortable, more breathable. And I'll get into most of those things a little bit later, but they are built for sim racing and not for real steel racing. So if you wanted to use these real steel racing, nah, not a good idea. So specs, $49 for these. Um, really not too bad, um, considering racing gloves go for $70 to $250 plus. So they are sim racing gloves, so it's not the same, but really not too bad to spend either. Because uh, I know you, if you have an Alcantara wheel, you're going to want to protect that wheel, so this could be a good investment for you. So let's get into some things that I like about these gloves. Um, first off, we have this finger here that pulls back, so your, fi your finger can actually stick outside here. I'll demonstrate real quick. You can pull it back here and then use this to uh, on your phone or any, like, any screens that are basically capacitive. It's a nice feature to have for when you're racing and you just want to grab your phone to send a quick message. That way you can do that without taking the glove off, which can take some time and it's just kind of annoying in general. These are the same size as the real Sparkle gloves that you would get for real racing. So it's kind of convenient. So if you're already using Sparkle gloves, you already know your size and it basically matches up perfectly. So I like that. Um, another thing I like about probably my favorite feature is the breathable back. The breathable back makes it so nice for when you're sim racing for a long time. Uh, your hands aren't really going to get sweaty like they would with a real glove. Real gloves are fireproof. So that means they have to seal out a little bit more and uh, it's just going to keep your moisture inside your hand and it's just going to get really sweaty and disgusting. So these really do a good job of keeping that away considering the back is breathable and air just passes through pretty easily. Um, another thing that I like are the palm pads. The palm pads are these little just pads that go right in the crevice of your thumb and your index finger. And uh, they really keep down vibrations and help for long sim sessions. Sometimes I find myself, if I don't use the gloves, that that starts to actually hurt and uh, gets me just wishing that I had the gloves on just to protect myself a little bit. And it really doesn't get in the way. I thought it might get in the way a little bit, but you don't really don't notice it after a while. Another thing I like is the grip levels. So it's an Alcantara glove, but it has silicone too. So there's some benefits to that. So if you're using an Alcantara wheel like I do for my F1 stuff, uh, it's going to protect the wheel and the Alcantara on Alcantara provides a good amount of uh, grip, basically. Um, but the silicone is helpful for it. Maybe you have a cheaper wheel or you have a leather wheel. Um, and those leather wheels are going to bond nicely to the silicone. So you're going to get grip both ways, either if you're using a silicone wheel or a suede wheel. Suede slash Alcantara wheel. Um, another feature I like is it's not full arm length. So since it is not fireproof, they don't have to put the far arm length. That way it doesn't go over your racing suit, basically. So it just cuts off right at the wrist and it feels really comfortable, basically allows for free movements and it doesn't bother you, there's no rashes. Overall these gloves are a very comfortable glove. So there's some things I still I'd like to be desired and that mainly falls into build quality. Um, there's a little section here that on both sides, actually almost every finger is starting to like peel, peel up a little bit. Uh, you can just see the stitching just coming undone. Um, so far I haven't had any problems though technically, but it does look like that could be a fail point in the future, so keep that in mind. I've been using these for six months, um, so overall really not too bad. Um, some of the, there used to be a Sparco symbol here, it fell off because of uh, use maybe, I don't know, it was heat pressed on pretty poorly. Um, but other than that, like everything is holding up fine, I've been using them for six months. Um, so I can't complain too much, but it does look like it could potentially not last forever. Nothing will. But another thing I think is kind of funny uh, that I don't like is they advertise these as to use with controllers. To me, that makes no sense. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I guess you could, but I doubt they're very good for that, so I wouldn't particularly use them. But overall, my opinions on the gloves are, it's a good, solid glove. Um, the Sparko, Sparko did a good job on this one. Kept it decently affordable, um, does the job well. My favorite part's no sweating part. Um, but personally, I'd be interested in what they do in the future with their, like, maybe a version 2 glove. Uh, I could see them trying to improve this, improving this glove and making an overall better glove and improving some of the build quality parts on it. Uh, but overall, yeah, good glove. I would pick one up, maybe holiday gift, could be. Thanks for hanging around. Plan on getting back to some real car stuff pretty soon, but uh, in the meantime, we're doing some uh, sim reviews. So uh, catch you guys in the next one. Fingers.